You ready for two new religions here in the United States? So the first new religion then is going to be Mormonism, or the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. That's going to arise with Joseph Smith, who we heard that name. So he was visited by an angel Moroni. He tells us how it was that an angel came to him, and an angel gave him some gold tablets that sort of like looked like some Egyptian hieroglyphics almost. He couldn't read it. But fortunately, the angel also gave him some stones that had the code on there so that he could take a look at it. And he translated all of, the, all of what was written here into English, and today we know that as the Book of Mormon. Where are the gold tablets? The angel took them back. But fortunately, a few other people saw them before they disappeared. And those people, as part of the Book of Mormon, have written their testimony. Yes, I verify that I saw the gold tablets before they apparently disappeared. So, he wrote the Book of Mormon. And how, what's fascinating is that he saw it as the culmination of Christianity. In the same way that the Jewish faith culminated in Christianity, Christianity culminated in these revelations by the angel Moroni. Or, the first time Mormon missionaries knocked on my door, Hello, we're here to, to visit you. Come on in. I love welcoming missionaries into my home, right, of any religion. You come knocking on my door with a Bible in your hand, you are in my house, right? How it was this, that these young Mormon missionaries didn't know who they were talking to. And they were explaining how it was that when Jesus was over here in, in the Holy Land, when Jesus ascended into heaven, he descended down here into the Holy Land, into Mexico City, roughly, and you know they were telling me the, the whole story of what's written in the Book of Mormon. Fascinating story. So the Mormons that are coming are arising here in the United States based on this event of Jesus appearing in the New World in North America. The, the crazy thing though is that Joseph Smith's visions are going to take him away from Christianity. He doesn't believe in God in the same way that we believe in God. He has this notion of God almost being a, a married couple, for lack of better words. Male and female giving birth, different, different concepts of salvation. So it's really not Christian, which is why, even though it's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Justo Gonzalez includes it in this book, but we really don't, we as Christians, don't classify them as Christian in the same way that we have been Christian for centuries. His community moved from Vermont to Ohio to Illinois, where they founded an autonomous community with its own militia. They named Joseph Smith King of the Kingdom of God. Oh, I kind of like that title. Maybe I'll work toward that one day. <laughs> King of the Kingdom of God. <laughs> King Jamie. <laughs> but then he declared himself a candidate for President of the United States. And uh, tensions arose in his community. He was eventually lynched. But why the Mormons, the Mormons carried on under the young man who took over for him, Brigham Young, who wasn't so young anymore. But Brigham Young was the one who led them out to Utah in the West. And it was in Utah, even before Utah was a state, that they settled in this area. And there were various uh, challenges with the U.S. government because how do we annex this group that believes in polygamy? Is polygamy allowed in any of the United States? Can guys, how many wives can you have? Got news for you. In the United States, you can only have one. So what do we do with this group that believes in polygamy? Um, where did that whole idea of polygamy come from? Brigham Young had said that Smith came to him one day and said, Brigham, I have news for you. I don't know how to share this with people, but I had a vision that we can reinstitute biblical polygamy. In the Bible, King David, how many wives did he have? He had a whole harem, right? He could just choose every night who he was going to sleep with. Why should we not do this, the vision told me. Joseph Smith didn't tell anyone during his life, but I, Brigham Young, want to tell you all that Joseph had this vision that he shared with me. Polygamy was abandoned in 1890 by the church officially. We know that in various places it continued. The Mormons' influence was considerable in Utah, and also, if you if you are a young man, it is a, an obligation that you give, I believe, two years of your life to be a Mormon missionary. So when you turn 18 years old, you are knocking on doors. Knocking on doors as a Mormon missionary, which is why the Mormon mission, the Mormon, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, has spread throughout the world. 
Imagine for a moment, if at Holy Family we told everyone you have to do a missionary work for two years in the name of Holy Family. Woo! Any of us? You know, all the people who subscribe to that, we'd be having missions all over the place. <laughs> so that was Mormonism. And then the other new religion that sprang up here in the United States was the Church of Christ Scientist, or Christian Scientology, Christian Science. That arose in 1879. The founder of that movement was Mary Baker Eddy. She suffered repeated illnesses, went to all sorts of doctors, couldn't find any medicines that helped, and finally she found a spiritual teacher who said, all you have to do is believe in the truth. And she came to believe in the truth, and she was healed. And then she wrote a book about it, which she called Science and Health, with the key to Scripture. And think about this for a moment. It was reprinted 381 times. What does it mean to be reprinted? That means that we're going to print a certain number and sell them. That number sold out. So then you print another number. And, okay, this time we'll print more. That sold out. They printed another. They, they reprinted it 381 times. That was a lot of books going off the shelf. That was a lot of books flying off the shelf. So in this book, she was using traditional terms. So she's using words like God, Christ, salvation, trinity. But she's obviously not using those words like we Christians use them. You follow me? So if you break open her book, she uses Christian words, but she's obviously giving them different meanings. She tells us that illness is a mental error that can only be solved by the spiritual science that Jesus used. How did Jesus heal people? It was his spiritual science. Which is why in that church they don't have pastors, they have practitioners of Christian science. People who learn the truth and are able to share that truth with others. And if you have that truth, that knowledge, then that results in prosperity and happiness. And who in this room doesn't want prosperity and happiness? <coughs> Which is why Christian science became very popular. It was part of this whole, we call it the gospel of wealth, right? How it is that if you believe in Jesus, you'll have prosperity and happiness. The gospel of wealth, who? that's a, a movement here in the United States as well. She said, all of you Catholics who've been saying Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Got news for you, Christ came again. How did Christ come? Christ inspired me with this book. She also banned preaching. We don't want to take the chance of seeing what Father Jamie is going to say on Sunday. There's going to be no preaching in this church. Instead, when we get together, we're going to get together and read the Bible and my book. 